all right guys so be aware of the asus lrsd card problems so basically i bought the device like let's see since it came out i mean i got it the first day and everything was working good you know everything was good until um three weeks after i got it so that's when the sd card just stopped working and um i'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos already on youtube regarding this but this is just to confirm this issue is real like as you can see i have like different sd card on the table different brand different sizes and um this device for the first three weeks everything works great i had this samsung this samsung 512 gig that i use on my steam deck and uh, it was perfectly fine on the asus also but for some reason one day it just stopped working and he the device will not recognize any sd card that you put in he won't recognize it so we can try everything right now so i'm gonna start with the pny 512 gig i'm gonna insert it all right and nothing you will not see it popping up anywhere so i'm gonna go to the file management um this pc as you can see is not gonna show up so the next thing you can look up uh, is um you can go to disk management um um give me one second all right so this is where you create the partition especially if you have the new sd card and stuff but it's not showing up here either and this is the exact same thing that's happening to all the other sd card that i have on this table so i think the placement of this um sd card reader is just bad because they put it right by the exhaust vents like it's really hot over there very very hot so i think it's just damaging all the readers like all the sd card readers on these issues it's just sad because this device costs like 750 dollars and now you're stuck with it with 512 gig you basically basically can have like maybe like um four games or three games like a triple a games i have the fifa 23 crisis and uh, Forza 5 and that's it and Far Cry and I came I, I'm out of memory right now I don't have any more memory in there so when you buy these things you already know what you're going to be dealing with after two weeks you cannot return it and you have to send it back to Asus they're probably going to fix it but the problem is like this is hardware is no software so which means that it doesn't matter if they fix it or not once the device start getting hot it's gonna cause an issue again so when you buy this thing you already know you're gonna have the 512 gig memory all right